The zebrafish heart is about uh, one to two millimeters and um, we are able to see with the MRI all four parts of the heart, the ventricle, the bulbus arteriosus, the sinus venosus and the atrium. And we even can distinguish the trabecular structure in the ventricle. Performing MRI imaging on a beating zebrafish heart is quite a challenge, but the biggest challenge is the oxygen supply for the fish. So we have uh, two possibilities. We can either perform it in a vessel, in a closed vessel with floating water through the vessel. Then the fish will have a natural movement of the gills. Or we can put it without floating water and then the gill movement will stop and we have only the heart movement. We still want to see the heart and the beating heart of the uh, living animal. And um, so we use an intragate flash sequence and this is a retrospective gating technique and with this technique we don't need any external ECG. So um, this is, um, we can then detect uh, the, with a navigator signal, we can detect the uh, physiological functions of the zebrafish. With this nice model system, the zebrafish, and with the imaging modalities we have here for investigating an adult zebrafish, I'm sure that we uh, will help the scientists in the research area to document and uh, correlate their um, results from more bio biochemical methods or um, histology methods with the imaging method.